surprising storm surge in Germany and what you can learn from it for your region in other parts of the world. Flood Protection Secrets, the podcast to the protection against heavy rain and flooding by Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippe. So the big challenge is how can house owners like you and me get a flood free home? How can business managers like you and me get a flood free company? And how can public servants provide flood free critical infrastructure and livable cities? Flood Protection Secrets, the podcast by Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippe. This podcast is for foresighted and proactive people who do not want to shovel the muddy water out of their room while standing in the midst of the disaster. Therefore, those who design and plan, the architects and engineers need to construct such buildings and cities and that even when the entire environment is completely flooded. That is a challenge and this podcast will give the answers. Flood Protection Secrets, the podcast by Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippe. Yeah, flood out, uh, flood of the century at the Baltic Sea uh, in October 20, 2023. Um, there was a terrible flood at the Baltic Sea and the Baltic Sea is at the northern part of Germany, but it is not the North Sea. The North Sea is more in the west and yeah, uh, all the base, uh, the coastline uh, were concerned and I want to tell you <clears throat> what happened, what is the reason and uh, yeah, what you can, what you can learn out of that uh, for, um, for from it for your region in other parts of the world. So whether you are in Asia, in America or in Australia, Africa, it really doesn't play any role. So yeah, what happened that was so, so unexpected, like always, right? So um, perhaps first uh, the question is what, which areas of the Baltic Sea coast are particularly affected by storm surges? And uh, first of all, I have to tell, since there are no high and low tides on the Baltic Sea, instead of storm surge, it should should read it should uh, we should say storm high tide. Huh, yeah, also not really, but anyway, storm surge uh, I think is a very common word and. Um, Okay, let's stay with that. In in the report, the areas uh, Flensburg Fjord, Kiel Bay, Lübeck Bay were highlighted. So these are all cities, uh, um, Flensburg, Kiel and Lübeck in the north of Germany. And uh, as, ha um, as has now been seen, almost the entire Baltic coast of Germany was affected and the water penetrated unprotected buildings and washed through cars. I predict it will get much worse. Today it was the Baltic Sea, tomorrow it will be the North Sea again and the day after tomorrow it will be rivers that cause, cause flooding. But the good news is we can protect ourselves. And yeah, that, that brings me leads me to the next question. What precautions should you take to protect your home from storm surge? I always say we need to worry about flood damage prevention, not damage repair after a flood event. You can now close uh, every opening in the building with flood barriers. These include doors, windows, light wells, basement entrances and uh, sewer connections that can be equipped with check valves to uh, prevent backflow from the sewer into the building. You know that that's not new. The workplace as well as a private home can be protected in this way, as well as a garage with a car and bicycles for the children, as well as the kindergarten and school. And we have recently flood protected five elementary schools in the Philippines. And in the future, the children there will no longer have to miss school due to floods. So uh, question uh, num number three, are there early warning systems for storm searches that you should watch out for? So uh, that is a good question. And my tip, tip is very clear. Listen to the weather experts. 
Our meteorologists are excellent. We didn't used to have the capabilities uh, that today's computer simulations offer. Now the weather can be calculated pretty accurately about a week in advance. So make use out of that. And in addition, there are regional early warning systems. People on the coast are also used to flood events, at least at the north coast. By the way, the people... Um, in Vietnam, in China and in the Philippines, they are also used to flood events, but they are not well pre uh, prepared most of the time. And sometimes they have no choice, uh, to be honest. Um, also, this time uh, in Germany, it was different. So some regions experienced floods like uh, none since weather records began in 1881. That is when the weather records uh, started, 1881 in Germany at least. There are now also one or two disaster warning apps. Uh, one of the leading insurance companies in Germany, by the way, that is an insurance that is uh, um, operating worldwide, um, has something li like that in use. I myself get storm warnings displayed there, saying to stay at home, won't stop heavy rain and floods from flooding my living room or garage. So, right? I say it again. Saying to stay at home, won't stop heavy rain and floods from flooding my living room or garage. So that means the apps are helpful. Yes, because they, they, they alarm you. They wake you up. However, the final step, that is what they cannot do. That is up to you, to the building owner, to, um, yeah, building owner <laughs> to protect such a building. Yeah. Um, we should not be uh, unfair. I think these apps are very helpful because uh, for the first time there is something what appears on your smartphone and tells you, hey, there's a storm coming. Of course, you, you listen to the weather report, but sometimes people neglect it. Ah, yeah, it's okay. The sun is still shining. What, there should, should be a typhoon in two days or a hurricane or, or heavy rain? I don't see it. I think the weather guys are wrong. No, that's not true. Most of the time it comes true. <laughs> Flood Protection Secrets, the podcast to the protection against heavy rain and flooding, by Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippa. That is pretty good. These small uh, stingers give me the the, op uh, the uh, opportunity to drink a little bit, and I always like this music. I hope you like it too. So, uh, first question is, what is the best way to prepare yourself personally if you live in a vulnerable area? So, yeah, the sandbags that are often mentioned are not helpful at all. In fact, I think it's harmful to try to convince people to get protection that way. So, away with them. For flood protection systems, for buildings and critical infrastructure, I distinguish between four groups. Portable barriers, such as demountable flood barriers or mobile barriers, like these Enero mobile flood barriers, for instance, um, they belong to this group of portable barriers. Second group are flood protection doors or gates. And uh, the third group are all kind of automatic systems, <coughs> sliding, um, sliding, um, naja, these are doors, um, dropping down systems, flipping up systems, raising up systems, so automatic systems. And the fourth group are, oh, that is a little bit special, flood protection glass walls. If you are a house owner, homeowner, you might say, oh, I don't need that. Oh, that's not true. I have seen uh, examples from, from our friends, uh, Flood Control International in England, and there is a house, uh, house protected uh, with it from the street side. So first there are, there are, there's a wall and on top of the wall, they put these glass barriers because they didn't want to block the view. That is what we see very often in parts of Asia that um, the small lots, the first thing what the people do, they put a concrete wall. I personally find it terrible because I, I feel like in jail all the time. Uh, yeah, everybody wants to hide. Uh, so, my, yes, for safety reasons, it may be, might be perhaps reasonable. Uh, okay, but anyway, if you don't like it and you want to protect your home 
um, from the danger of floods uh, and, and you still want to enjoy the beautiful view, then glass barriers are the right choice. So that is why I mentioned it. It's a fourth group. So portable barriers, um, flood protection doors or gates, automatic systems and flood protection glass walls. However, it is important to also consider the buildings and the nature of the foundation. It is no use having the best flood barriers uh, if the building wall is not solid. The foundation is uneven or the con concrete is crumbling. My, my mo most important tip to all building owners, uh, make sure to use only tested and proven established flood protection systems. Otherwise, the cheap product from uh, around the corner could turn out to be a very expensive investment uh, down the road if it doesn't do what it's supposed to. Keep the water off your building. Yeah, that is, uh, I mean, we all, all know that, uh, that sometimes uh, when we purchase something, something cheap because it looks so cheap, or oh, the discount is so great, and at the end it doesn't do uh, what it shall do. And, um, and then, yeah, all the investment was for nothing. We, we, we lose 100%. But at this time, it becomes more uh, more critical because we talk about safety. It's not about fun or or enjoyment. It's about the safety of the families. It's about the inventory. It's about the safety of the employees. It's about the safety of the citizens in a hospital or in a subway. So who wants to be in a subway tunnel and, um, and then the flood protection at the top of, of the entrance of the station is not working and you... You don't want to be there, sure. So um, better, better to use um, to use the right system that does what it shall do. So uh, the fifth question: uh, What measures should be taken to evacuate safety during a storm surge? That's interesting for everybody. <laughs> that remembers me the the basketball courts in the Philippines uh, that serve very often as an uh, evacuation uh, center. But today we talk about Germany, um, the, the century storm surge um, at the Baltic Sea. And uh, yeah, evacuation sites must be safe from high water and heavy rain. And this is something sometimes forgotten. Such places should have enough space for people. Emergency toilets are also welcome. Yeah, of course. Huh? Uh, for, for the men, it's a little bit easier than for the women but however imagine this mess uh, with 100 200 500 1000 people yep somebody should think about that um, every citizen should be responsible for their own food i can already expect to provide oneself with water food and medicine as well as uh, toys for the children everyone does that when they they go on vacation or plan a barbecue weekend right and there's always plenty to drink Correct? Um, do you agree with me? <laughs> Normally you don't run out of drinks. As soon as a weather forecast announces a bad weather day, everyone should have a backpack, travel bag and appropriate, uh, what is it, a appropriate clo clothing ready just in case. So there should not be uh, any excuse. Oh, that is up to the government. No, it is not up to the government to provide you with water. It's up to you to think about that. And in case the evacuation takes a little longer, Think of candles, batteries, a radio, or games, or a small musical instrument. A ukulele, flute, or harmonica will keep you in a good mood while it's thundering and storming outside. And don't forget, you're only one flat barrier away. I wish and hope for you that you make the right decisions when it comes to your personal flood protection. And if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to this podcast channel if you haven't already. Now it only remains for me to wish you a good day. Do something with it. Maybe until the next podcast episode, I would be very happy. See you then. As always, stay safe and flood free. Your Andreas Klippe and the whole Flood Experts team. it again with a new episode of Flood Protection Secrets, the podcast by Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippi, German engineer, book author, and head of the Flood Experts.
What can Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippa, protect for you? Anytime? Worldwide? Contact us or just click through to www.thefloodexperts.de slash bonus. Detailed engineering. German quality. Safe. Flood protection secrets. The secrets you'll want to unfold. Don't forget, you're only one flood barrier away. Subscribe to the season, and you'll never be late for an episode. <laughs>